The cost for sod is directly proportional to the number of square feet purchased. It cost $168 to purchase 400 square feet of sod. Write a model for the cost of this sod. We see the phrase directly proportional. When you see that, that means you can write something of the form y equals kx generally to a power on the x. Now in this case it wasn't, it, it isn't directly proportional to the square or to the cube or to the fourth power of some number. It just says directly proportional to the number. So let's keep that in mind. Write a model for the cost of this sod. I'll let f represent the uh, square feet purchased, the square feet of sod purchased, and I will let C of F be the cost. Since the cost is directly proportional to the number of square feet purchased, then I can write that C of F is equal to K times F. Now K is called a constant of proportion, and we generally need to find that constant. So now we're going to use the other piece of information. It cost 180, I'm sorry, $168 to purchase 400 square feet. So that means that C of 400 is 168. So then substituting, we have 168 is equal to K times 400. Let's solve for k, divide through by 400, and here's a good place to use the calculator. 168 divided by 400 is 0.42. So then k is equal to 0.42. Now we have the value of k. Let's revise the model. So then C of F is equal to 0.42F. So there's the model for this problem. What is the cost for 2,000 square feet of sod? 2,000 square feet of sod, that means that F is 2,000. So evaluating C of 2,000, that would be 0.42 by 2,000. Which is 840. So the cost for 2,000 square feet of sod is $840. If Mark was charged $2,310 for sod, how much did he purchase? So the cost was $2,310. So C of F is 2,310. So then 0.42F is equal to 2,310 dividing through by the 0.42. 5,500. So then F It's 5,500. So Mark purchased 5,500 square feet of sod 
for $168.